What's going on, everybody? This is Joe Biggs with InfoWars.com. Now, if you heard about the rally this past weekend in Boston that I spoke at, you probably heard it was going to be a gathering a lot like this. But instead, it was more a whole bunch of this. They didn't want the media to cover that because they didn't want you to see that there weren't any white supremacists. That You cannot pretend to care about the freedom of assembly when you are telling people they cannot associate with people like Richard Spencer or Augustus Invictus or Chris Cantwell or anyone else because they're too radical. That is not the freedom of assembly that we are guaranteed in this country. Die for. There's a reason why these people think the way they do. They are being indoctrinated. They have been indoctrinated since very young, since they were in elementary school, that whites are the evil people. Fear the evil white boogeyman. man. Right? That, that, that the, white, the white man has his boot on the neck of every minority out there, and that they somehow have to right the wrongs of their ancestors. This is nonsense, people. This is bullshit. What they're trying to do is if they, if they, they're trying to destroy Western civilization. And if to do that, they're going after whites. And see, none of you are actually even able to see that because... Despite a heavy police presence today, many in Boston are worried that fighting could break out between protesters holding a free speech rally and counter-protesters. Even some of the rally's original headliners dropped out in fear of a possible riot. Vice Media co-founder and Trump supporter Gavin McInnes and the alt-right internet troll who goes by the name Baked Alaska both backed out so that they're afraid they may be labeled white supremacists or caught up in an orchestrated riot uh, put together by the quote-unquote establishment to discredit the right. 40,000 people were rallying against white supremacy, rallying against hate, rallying against bigotry. There is only one Islam. So we should just go ahead and drop the radical part because Islam within itself, what it actually is, is radical ideology. And if you actually go look at the families, the Christian families that live in Iraq, say in Mosul right now, that are being slaughtered simply because they have a different uh, belief, a different faith, they are being murdered by Islam, which is a radical ideology. There's no other way around it. This guy explained it so clear. There is no progressive Islam. There is no radical Islam. There is only one Islam, and that is it. All those other things are within Islam. And Pakistanis, the Muslim Browns, uh, I'm not a fan. I find that Muslims assimilate less well than virtually every other immigrant. What do you say on that? Well, you know, uh, if you look at the history of India, right, um, when the Mughals came in, right, whatever, in the many, many centuries ago, it was really about invasion and domination. Right, it wasn't really about assimilation, it was more about dominating and enforcing their culture on people. Now, we have to almost entirely come out and go, well, we're not racist, we don't stand for that, we're not KKK, we're not Nazis. You know, and I, have to, and I feel like I have to continue to go, hey, I'm married to a Guyanese woman here. And that's what they want. They want us to be with our backs against the wall in the defensive mode instead of being on the forefront, the tip of the spear, fighting our way through. That's why we have to continue to hold more rally. That's the truth. 
the left doesn't understand your right to freedom of speech, but the The establishment, the establishment is what's infested with racists, not us. I don't see any racists here. I see black people, I see Chinese people, I see people of all different spectrums here. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. We have no choice. We have no choice. That it wasn't a racist rally. That it was a rally talking about how unified America actually really is about how America needs to stand up for free speech for all people.